Morning, children. So this week, we're gonna be working on the letter M. As you can see right here, this is the uppercase M, and this is the lowercase M. And we're learning about the letter M because this is the letter of the week. And one important thing that we're going to be learning about the letter M is that it is a special letter for the word mother or mom. This week we're gonna be, this Sunday, we're gonna be celebrating Mother's Day. So mom starts with the letter M, just like monkey. Hello, monkey. So this poem we're gonna read, we're gonna go on a letter M search. Okay, monkey see, monkey do, come meet monkey in the zoo. If you make a face, he might make one too. Monkeys love to mimic you. Mimic means to copy you. All right, so we're gonna go on the M search. I'm gonna bring the poem right next to you so you can see it better. And the word uppercase M and lowercase M, we're gonna look for them here. The word monkey begins with the letter M. Monkey C, the monkey here, another M, we're gonna underline it. Come, I see the lowercase m and the word come. Meet, I see the lowercase m in the word meet, because it's the first letter for meet. Monkey, another m, this is a lowercase m for monkey. In the zoo, I see no m's here. If you make, all right, the word m, make begins with the letter m. If you make a face, he might. The word might begins with the letter M. So I'm underlining all the M's. Make also begins with M, another lowercase M. One, two. Monkeys begins with the letter M, is uppercase right here. Love to mimic. All right, the word mimic has two M's. Here's one M and there's another M. Mimic means copy. Mimic you. So, we're gonna count how many uppercase M's we find here in this beautiful poem. There's one. Oh, actually, boys and girls, there's this little tiny thing. This is a poem that goes to this old man. We're gonna see if this, and to this old man. Also, the word man begins with the letter M. So we're gonna count our our uppercases first. One, two, three, four, and five. So we have five. I'm gonna write the number five for uppercase. Let's see how many lower cases we find in this poem. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine lowercase m. So I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, so we have a five for uppercases and a nine for lowercases. So which one is more, the nine or the five? I'm gonna show you five, ready? This is five, and this right here, I'm gonna put my poem down, and this right here is five and four is nine. So this is five and this is nine. So yes, nine is more than five. So there's more lowercase m's in this beautiful poem. Okay, I'm gonna put my poem down and I'm going to show you how to make the letter M. We have a pad right here. Okay, boys and girls, here we go. You can practice this at home, writing your letter M. You can copy it, you can trace it. If your mom puts the little dots, you can trace it if you know how to you know if you know how to write the letter m wonderful if you don't that's okay we're practicing we're going to learn how to do it okay we're going to do a line down right there just one line and then we're going to do another line this way see that and we're going to go up to the top wherever the other one is 
and then we're going to do another line down lowercase m now let's make our low up uh, sorry uppercase m let's make our lowercase m here we go we're going to do a line and then we're going to start here and we're going to go one up again two M is for mom. So I'm going to spell the word mom so I can show you. M O M. There's two M's in mom. So if I want to use the lowercase m, I can do it this way. M O line. See that? Mom. M O M. M O M. Excellent. So, now boys and girls, I have some sticks right here I want to show you I have some sticks right here so you can do a stick see how I'm covering in the line a stick and then another stick right there let's see I'm gonna show you how to do this we have another stick I'm gonna put my fingers on it so you can see the M better look at that I just made the uppercase M with sticks. So you can do that with any kind of sticks. Popsicle sticks, sticks from outside, branches, little tiny sticks. You can make M's, many different things. So we're going to do our lowercase M. Now you can see it right here. We're going to put a stick down. And I used a pipe cleaner to shape the letter M because we want to see what the letter M looks like. All right, boys and girls, and this is a lowercase M. You can use popsicle sticks because you can bend it. You need to be able to bend it. I can use sticks to make the lowercase M, so I need something that can bend so we can shape it. All right, boys and girls, excellent job. Now. We're gonna go through some letters and we're gonna put them together. First, we're gonna start with the letter M. And I wanna show you, these are puzzle pieces because it shows all the uppercases to our lowercases. So we have our uppercase M and we have our lowercase M. And then we put them together and that's M and M. And we're gonna turn it around and you can see it shows you mitten begins with the letter M. Okay, we're gonna first do a few letters and we're gonna match our uppercase to our lowercase. Let's look at our letter T. There's T, uppercase T, lowercase T. And what begins with the letter T? Tiger, very good. Let's look at the letter E, uppercase E, lowercase E, and let's see what begins with E. That's right, oops, sorry. An elephant begins with the letter E. Let's look at the letter W. Uppercase W, lowercase W, put it together, and I'm gonna look it over, and a watch begins with W. As you can see, Miss Tauti has a watch. Okay, let's look at our letter Y. Here's our uppercase Y, and then we have our lowercase Y. You put them together, what begins with the letter Y? That's right, yarn. You may see moms with yarn. We use yarn for knitting. Okay, let's look at our other letters here. We have a letter J, J, Low uppercase, lowercase j, and jar begins with the letter j. Let's look at our letter c, uppercase, lowercase, you put them together, and a cup begins with the letter c. Let's look at our letter U, uppercase U, lowercase U, and then we turn it around, 
unicycle begins with the letter U. Let's look at our letter H. Uppercase H, lowercase H, and we turn it around. House begins with the letter H. You all live in a house that begins with H. Let's look at our letter Q, uppercase, lowercase Q. What begins with the letter Q? That would be a queen begins with the letter Q. Let's look at our letter uppercase I, which is the letter of last week's letter. And then we have our lowercase I. And if you remember, iguana begins with the letter I. Let's look at our letter O, uppercase O, lowercase O. And if you remember, octopus begins with the letter O. When we did the ocean theme, you know, you all told me that octopus begins with the letter O. Let's look at our letter, uppercase A, lowercase A, and apple begins with the letter A. Let's look at our letter R, and then we have our lowercase r, and you can see rabbit begins with the letter r. You guys are all doing a great job. I'm sure you're all telling, saying the letters before I even tell you what it is. You're doing a wonderful job. We have the letter P, uppercase, lower, oh, sorry. Excuse me a second. Uh, let's see, we have, we had the wrong letter on the wrong puzzle. Okay, here we go. Uppercase P, lowercase P, and what begins with P? Popcorn and pizza. P for pizza, and I'm sure you all love pizza. We have a few more left to go. And we have our letter X, uppercase, lowercase, and a xylophone begins with the letter X, okay? We have our letter V, uppercase, lowercase V, and we're gonna turn it around, and what begins with V? Vase begins with the letter V, which is what I used to put the flowers in when we did the food coloring. I used three different vases. All right, boys and girls, let's look through the letter Z, uppercase, lowercase, and then we have zipper, begins with the letter Z. Let's go to our letter S. We have an uppercase S. We have our lowercase S. And what begins with an, L, an S? That's right, socks. We wear socks on our feet, S. And also, the sun is shining bright outside. The sun starts to begin with the letter S and sand, it reminds you of the beach, right? All right, we have our uppercase L, lowercase L, we're gonna flip it over, and we know that a lamp begins with the letter L. Okay, we have our letter D, uppercase, lowercase D, and then we have a dog, begins with the letter D, dog. We love our dogs, right? I have two dogs. Miss Marilyn, too, has, she actually has three dogs, which is what Miss Saudi would like. All right, so we have our letter B, uppercase, lowercase b, and what begins with b? Baby, and also boots, boots. B for boots. Those are rain boots for rainy days. In the springtime, you get a lot of rain, which is what we had. We've had so much rain, I'm sure you had to wear your boots, all your rain gear. Okay, we have our letter uppercase G, lowercase G, and what begins with the letter G? Our goat. G for goat begins with the letter G. Excellent work. We have our letter K, 
uppercase, uppercase, lowercase, and what begins with K, kite begins with the letter K. We have a couple more letters to go. We have our letter F, uppercase F, lowercase F, and I'm gonna flip it over, and fish begins with the letter F. This is fish inside because he's swimming. Fish. All right, next letter is the letter N. N, uppercase N, lowercase N. What begins with an N? That's right, a nest. You need a nest for birds. Birds make nests. All right, boys and girls, I am so glad you were here with me. We worked on the uppercase and lowercase letters and we matched them up. And now we're gonna do a really fun game in our next video, we're going to be making a parking lot. You need to match your uppercase to your lowercase. And I'll be sending them to you in your packet so you can have fun playing the game at home. Okay, great to be here with you. I'll see you soon, goodbye.